Why do you think it took this long, though, to, to come to this decision? Well, frankly, I don't think it took uh, all that long. I, I mean, we all want things expedited quickly. Uh, certainly in the media business, we'd like to be able to report something and not just feed into the rumor vacuum that seems to exist out there. Uh, but, you know, look, he, nobody can actually sign contracts, could actually sign contracts uh, until yesterday. Uh, there was a flurry of actual transactions yesterday. Before then, it's just agreements and, and you know, nods in, in one direction uh, or the other. Uh, I think LeBron did exactly what he needed to do. I mean, this is a life-changing decision for him. He's in the last few years of his prime. He's probably locking himself in for the next three or four years with one team. This is an extremely difficult and extremely important decision. And simply taking, what, 10 to 15 days, remember the Miami season went pretty long, uh, to make this decision, I don't think it's, it's extra at all. I think he did exactly what he needed to do, and it, the timetable wasn't off at all. Chris, obviously there's going to be a, dom- a lot of dominoes now that fall with LeBron's decision. We'll, we'll soon find out what happens with Chris Bosh, Chandler Parsons, Carmelo. If you're looking at the Heat, obviously this is an impossible guy to replace. Where do they go next in the next 24 hours? Uh, it's a great question. Um, because I don't know where they go, frankly. Uh, you know, I, th- I think in some way they're probably going to have to find a way to make Dwayne Wade whole. And when I say that, I mean giving him some type of contract that recoups the money that presumably he opted out of, a, of because he gave him the best chance to re-sign LeBron and bring them back. Chris Bosh is gone. Uh, I would be shocked if he doesn't wind up in Houston sometime in the next 48 hours uh, with that deal, uh, uh, close to a max deal uh, with the Houston Rockets. Uh, and But you can't simply go out there and try to replace LeBron James. I mean, I, I think it's, it's very early, obviously, and there's still a lot to learn over the next, you know, probably five or six hours, much less the last 24 hours. But I would expect Miami is going to have to go into a situation where they're rebuilding. Uh, it might take them several years to get back to the position that they were in. Chris, LeBron said this in his essay, I've met with Dan, Dan Gilbert, face-to-face, man-to-man. We've talked it out. Everybody makes mistakes. I've made mistakes as well. Who am I to hold a grudge? How do you think the people of Cleveland are going to respond to LeBron James now coming home? It was only four years ago they were burning his jersey after the decision. Now, we all know, Maggie, it's got to be bedlam out there. Uh, You know, everybody, it's easy to forgive and forget over time. And I think Cleveland, based on what we've seen in the last 24 hours with people camping out outside of LeBron's house in Akron with the, the buzz, uh, all throughout the city of Cleveland, uh, they are eagerly anticipating and will welcome him back home. And you mentioned the, the Gilbert uh, part of it, and that was the one variable that I couldn't quite account for coming into all this. Had LeBron met with Gilbert, had they buried the hatchet, there certainly were plenty of opportunities for him to do that. Remember, during the season this year, he flew to Cleveland for Zdrzo Sogalskis' retirement ceremony. There was that plane down in Miami that nobody really knows uh, too much about that belonged to Dan Gilbert. Uh, there were plenty of opportunities, as I mentioned, for him to have met with him, and clearly it seems that that meeting took place, that they did bury the hatchet, that they did move on from that, and that was the one thing that was out there that I think a lot of people couldn't really account for. We couldn't figure out how LeBron, without actually formally meeting with the Cavaliers, as he hasn't done in the last, say, three or four days, uh, could get tasked without actually sitting down with Dan Gilbert. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. It's not just SI Now, it's girls in bikinis because we got your back. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern only on SI.com. We hope to see you there with the girls in bikinis.